Oh. We successfully routed Dark Falls. We are grateful for your support, Arzons. Cool. And wait, there's more, because there's always more. Ugh. Oh, hopefully it won't be too long. It'll be good to have this out of the way, though. Because I, I think the uh, uploads, YouTube finally caught up with this stuff. It's the stuff that we're live today. And there's my robe screwed up again. I love it. So hear me out. To be painfully honest, I was pretty sure we would fail. Yeah, but y'all, I'm here. And All my calculations. I gotta, and we got three episodes of the fight. The toy, one of you wouldn't make it back. Oh, cool. I was even running simulations to figure out how to keep arcs running after the loss. Well, now it's all out the airlock. I have to take all my calculations and estimates and go back to square one. Or you could just forget about it because we got the job done. Honestly, it's a huge relief. I hated the idea of calculating a future without you or Matoy. Oh. I've never been so glad to get the math wrong. Or to learn that my predictions aren't set in stone. Well, you never tell me the odds. I have a sneaking suspicion that Shion feels the same way. But we're not out of the woods yet. That still New leaves outfit. us facing one major problem. Oh, I like the... Welcome back, Matoy. The newest iteration on the robes. A little male gazy, but... Thanks, Xiao. Got full-on sleeves now. Your new outfit looks like a perfect match. Yes. Thanks for that, too. But about what happens next? Ah, uh, of course. You mean the profound darkness returning, yes? I guess. You both saw Persona when transformed into the profound... Oh, that was the thing that looked at us before it left. It may have managed a swift retreat. Okay. But I'm sure it'll be back before long. Of course... It also makes sense now because Persona's got the mask. We're getting ready for... The profound darkness when she was it had the mask. Oh, I see it. I see what you did there. You and you too, Matoy. You clever cabbages. We'll get through this battle thanks to the two of you. Get ready, because we're going to be asking a whole lot of you. Right. All right. You can now partner with boy. I guess not. Well, that was quick. Boss fight time. Sorry, I'm a loose thread on my shirt here. Oh, I'll fuss with it later. Not like it's on camera. Okay. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Keep it casual. Again, we saw what happened with the uh, Dark Falls. So this could be a bad time. Oh, that's that's bad swirlies. Think of this big evil flower. Two big evil flowers. This feels way too involved. But I mean, you do you, profound darkness. Is that an evolution of the corrupted mothership, or...? What are those square ships? That's it. Like, freighters? Cool to see another type of ship, at least. The profound darkness has been revived. At this rate, it'll devour the entire planet of Nevarius and regain its full strength. That's no good. If that happens, it'll mean the end of the universe. We must stop it at all costs. Okay. It appears to be anticipating that we'll attack when it attempts to devour the planet. No, uh, like, what a surprise. Looks like it's got a head start on us by churning out Gemini on Moss. We're talking some really mind-boggling numbers here. If we can't break through that Gemini wall... We'll never be able to reach the profound darkness itself. Okay, so apparently Gemini takes form of weird castles when it's big enough. Throughout the universe while we grapple with its minor distractions. Okay. We can't let that happen 
If we don't stop it right here and right now, the universe will end. I get it. Everything will be fine. Oh, it's got the split colors too, I get that. I'm certain it'll all work out. Yeah, okay. There's no need to prepare for every scenario. I No. We all know that you can do this. Okay. Will you let me do it, please? I'm like I'm liking the weird demon castle spiders, but Let's clear that mission real quick. Back of the profound darkness. Okay. Let's party. This is gonna sting. You will soon be teleported to the front lines. Your objective is to eradicate Dark Falls Gemini and open a path to the profound darkness. Okay. Never would have guessed. It's one of the Dark Falls Collective. We have no idea how powerful it is. So be careful. Do whatever it takes to come back to I like this setting though. I'm looking at the, the like the, the glowy pink nonsense and I guess we gotta find uh, whichever one's vulnerable and get in there. Oh, oh it moved again. That this is gonna be annoying. Oh, I see the one that we were after is glowing too. All right. Uh. Enough for now. All right, what am I supposed to do? Ah, blast him! Oh, I see. There's an inside gubbin here. Okay, okay, I'm getting it now. It's a weird fight, but okay, I see Glow Boy. Boys in the corner. Oh. Got it. Okay. So it looks like it's two shots each of sufficient power, maybe more. Oh, and then, yeah, they hit the thingy. Forgetting I have that lightning dash. Probably make my life easier. Oh, this is just like a dragon fight. That stung a little though. You done? Oh hey. How handy. Oh, I can't I can't kill those, they just go after me. Okay. I think I got the shot in now. So yeah, the governor should be out. Cool. Oh, it's still out. Got it, okay. Oh, and we're on a timer. That's not reassuring me. Okay, that's badass. Oh, that's what the square ships are, okay.
Tainted end. <laughs> Taint. Alright, let's go. I'm guessing the big beacon is probably important. Let's do. Let's party. The path to the profound darkness has been opened. All that's left is to defeat it. Do I have to start walking or I'm gonna go? We can provide no specific orders. Oh, I'll tell, tell me that this is gonna be like, uh. Is this gonna be like the, um. I guess I got some friends. Yeah, is this gonna be like the. The, big, the, 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 the freaking sea monster fight? I can't remember its name, I'm sorry. It's been a while since I fought, fought my way through the coast. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. Specific weapon attacks are effective against it? I don't have time for that. Is it gonna tell me that when I lock onto it or what? Or maybe it's for different parts, you gotta hit it with different stuff. I'm just gonna hit it with a lightning because I'm fucking ripped. Give me the juice here. Where you at, buddy? I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Looks like Dark Falls, but angrier. Great. Feel like I'm gonna want to dodge that. Oh, it's me. I mean, I guess it was me, so that makes sense. This is nowhere near as bad as the Falls fight so far. Alright! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> I didn't expect that to do the job, but okay. I don't even want to imagine how much of a pain in the ass that is on Hardcore. Oops, you broke it. But that's probably not even his final form. Okay, that's cool. The unspooling, that's really neat. If I could turn back time. Oh, and that kind of ties into the whole, the spinny logo on the Dark Falls' collars. That's, oh. Oh, just little, little, little gubbins, little gubbins. I love that. Yay, we got flowers and stuff. Now what? Or I decided to Completed. park? Do I get like a big old red gubbin or do, do, is that not until they, they get an urgent mission? Okay. Well that was delightful. I'm guessing that's where they drop the uh... the gubbin's orb and the uh... telepipe once you're done. Wait, well, like, cause that's inevitably gonna be an urgent mission. Oh, okay, story. Everybody's just hanging out. I guess we were all going up against it, technically. Are you all right? What happened to the profound darkness? Broke it. Right. No. Of course, you don't know. Even I can't feel it anymore. It's kind of anticlimactic, honestly. But. I think we finally put an end to it, didn't we? Till like chapter five of the episode. It might not be the decisive win we'd hoped for, but it seems we've at least blocked the profound darkness from manifesting itself. That's good enough. So, I couldn't be sure just looking at the numbers alone. I'm glad I came to see for myself. There are traces of the time stream everywhere here. 
It's remarkable. Then there's the profound darkness, which we fought back before it could be resurrected. Like you do. And for one fleeting moment, I sense the presence of Persona. Yeah, you got blasted. What does it all mean, Shao? Oh. For the two of you, this may be heavy news to bear. But will you bear it all the same? Get to the point. I think I want to know. Tell us, Xiao. I want to understand what happened here. So do I. I say so. Before I do, though, just know that this isn't an immutable fact, but simply my understanding of the situation as it stands now. Okay, we can retcon this whenever we feel like. <laughs> You and the rest of Arcs managed to fight back the profound darkness and keep it from corrupting Nevarius. Hooray! That's good. The battle probably wore down the powers of the profound darkness, letting Persona, its vessel, rise to the surface. That's good. Persona saw a chance and seized it. As soon as that opportunity appeared, they unleashed their power. That's good. You're talking about the time stream, right? That's right, yeah, he was jumping around in time. Exactly. For it. They turned back time for themselves to just before the profound darkness was resurrected. That's bad? Bringing along something with such massive photon energy as the profound darkness meant that was the limit they could turn back the clock. Thanks to that, the profound darkness was bound to the moment just before it was revived on Nevarius. Is that bad? But time was only rewound, not altered forever. It was bound to try and revive itself again, here. So that's bad. When it did, Arcs, and more specifically, you, would be there to fight and weaken it. That's good. So it could be rewound again, right back to before the profound darkness was revived. Over and over again. For all of eternity. In other words, this mission is replayable. So telling me they're just trapped in a loop? Repeating the same battle forever? That's bad. That's terrible. Isn't there something we can do to save them? There must be. Hey, it's a dark fall, so we don't care. Right. I have the same nagging fears about all of this. So it'll be back. That's bad. There's no telling how long this cycle will persist. That's definitely bad. Sure, it worked this time. But what next time? Or the next? What about the tenth time around? Not even I can find a solution to that. Yeah, that's bad. Even if I have time to focus on my calculations, I can't guarantee I'll find answers. That could be worse. I shouldn't say that. It's gonna get worse. Persona and Shion have granted us at least this much time. That's good. We could have easily met our ends here, obliterated in our ignorance. But thanks to them, we still get to live to see tomorrow. Yeah, that's good. We can't waste what precious little time we have. There has to be a solution out there somewhere. That's all right. Yes, we'll find it. I know we will. Okie dokie. We have you after all. The one who helped me. Who saved me. The, the hero protagonist. Must be just ahead. In the future that you and Xion paved the way towards. Oh. So please, wait for us. I promise, we'll be back for you. Okay, are we done? We're done the episode. Are we done the episode? Not quite. All right, so Clarus Craze gets to hang out with the former Clarus Craze. We heard about Alma. I don't know when she's going to play a part in the story. But she was mentioned uh, by oh, Regius hey, at some point. Head. Good to see you in one piece. I can't say the same. Just don't run yourself into the ground. I mean it. Especially with the profound darkness back out and about. Well, kind of, but not. to take it on. But we still can't get by without you and my predecessor. I'm glad to feel important. So just take care of yourself. Make sure you're eating right and resting when you need to. You stay hydrated. Really Speaking of, Even I should Huey probably. So. Huey knows about hydration. I know how much He's you full and of piss. Predecessor love to try and do everything yourselves, but give it a rest every now and then.
You know, she has a name. We can just call her that. Think of it. She's not here right now, is she? Not tagging along by mistake or anything? Well, that's convenient. I've been meaning to ask you something. What's that? Listen, you're very close with my pre- With Matoy, aren't you? Do you know what kind of gift she could receive that would make her happy? I've been snacks. Everybody loves snacks. I want to ask her, but I couldn't figure out a way to break the ice. And I just figured, you know, maybe a nice gift would get the conversation going. It'd be a way to show her I'm glad she made it back and everything, too. You know? Me, huh? I think you may be on to something. Let's see. I'd love to get... Alright, I think I have an idea. Turns out you were the right... We're not gonna find out what it is, all. but... Anyway, thanks for lending me an ear. I'll see you around. I guess. <coughs> Pardon me. How long is this side uh, thread? Are they all getting her presents? If I have to come up with present ideas for every single NPC, I'm going to scream. Uh, hello. Perfect timing. As always. Me? Oh, I'm on investigation duty. You know, with the profound darkness back and the false spawn getting more active and all. Like you do. I figure I might as well use my spare time to go around and gather some intel. I'm resting when I need to, though. So, no need to worry. Oh. Although, you're the one to worry about on that front. You and Matoy give the rest of us migraines with all your wild stunts. Y'all need to relax. You can't complain too much, though. I guess it's thanks to your stunts that Matoy's back with us. Damn right. Anyway, the profound darkness may be back, but being bound on Nevarius has kept it in check. So we're in the calm before the storm, essentially. The storm may be massive, but at least we have an idea of when and where it'll strike. Cool. Xiao apparently wants you and Matoy to rest up while we get arcs rearranged and ready to go. We won't. Can't say I disagree with him on that one. We still won't. Persona may have offloaded all the F-Factor you two are building up, but... It was still a crazy amount. Oh, so we're clean now. You two really ought to take it easy. Ooh. Figure out what your bodies need most, and get into the best fighting shape you can. I need snacks. You and Matoy both work yourselves too hard anyway. Give yourselves a little time to recharge. Okay. Oh, that's right. Speaking of Matoy, I wanted to ask you something. Okay. You read me like a book. Yeah, well, your sister clone was asking the same thing. It's not to celebrate anything in particular, but... I thought it'd be a nice way to tell her I'm glad she's back. Something like that. Okay. And besides, I never thanked her properly for saving me way back when. She oh, seems like the type to tell me it's the thought that counts anyway, but still. Hmm, actually, I know I already asked, but I may not need an answer after all. Okay. Well, I'm glad this I'm here. This kind of gift means the most when it's from the giver's heart. So I'll keep thinking. Sorry to bother you. Okay, they're actually gonna fork them over. Apparently it's flowers. This looks like the yellow flowers that were in the field when we finished up, so. Continuity. Um, both of you, let's just take it easy. Oh, they're mad at each other because they got what the same What are you doing gift? here anyway, Clarice Grace? Weren't you out on duty on Nevarius? I could ask you the same thing. I got a report that you were working down on Nevarius. I wrapped up that job already, so I don't see what's wrong with me being here. That goes double for me. I have important business with my predecessor. Ah, that's a shame for you. It just so happens that I have business with Matoy as well. And by the way, could you drop the predecessor already and call her Matoy like a normal person? Thank you! Unfortunately for you, she is my predecessor. And I think you're the one who ought to address her with a little more respect. Matoy doesn't have an issue with it, so what's the problem? Oh, like you know what she's feeling. Maybe she hates it, right? That cuts both ways. 
Maybe she's just too nice to admit she dislikes Miss Predecessor. Right? Um, to be honest, I don't really mind one way or another. Oh, I like the arm bows too, like the metallic thing. That's cool. I didn't notice those in the arm bits at the first. <clears throat> To put her on the spot. I wish I knew why I'm the one getting yelled at. Uh, help me out here. I don't understand what's happening. I wish I knew. What up? They approached me at the same time and suddenly exploded into an argument. Oh. That's right. I almost forgot. I didn't just come here to argue with my less than brilliant friend here. I didn't come here to pick a fight either, but someone jumped down my throat all of a sudden. So you both wanted to talk to me about something? I didn't do anything to upset you, did I? N no, nothing like that. You're completely fine, Miss Predecessor. Then what's the matter? The look, that was good. Tears. Oh, don't these flowers grow on Nevarius? These are these are very high res, high quality flowers. Same idea. Both of you wanted to give me these. Why? Well, you've just done so much for me, and I wanted to give you something to show how much I appreciate it. I can't get over the the, the low res of the models. About what to give you. Right. Until these flowers suddenly popped into my head. I had a feeling they'd probably make you happy. I did wonder if it'd be better to give you something a little fancier. But these were the right choice after all, I think. I adore these flowers. Haven't I said so? I don't know if she's actually saying that or just defusing Thank the situation. You so much, you two. I can't tell you how happy I am to get these. Hooray. But I'm actually even happier just knowing how the two of you feel. I feel so warm inside. It's wonderful. It's still going. Why? How is this chapter not over? And it's like an extra month and change after the events of the the thingy. Well, after her revival or her return, I don't know how long it took for them to fight. Hey, predecessor, how'd you get to be so strong? The profound darkness, or whatever. Oh, um. I guess I have Shion to thank for that. Here it comes. Sorry. Oh, I see. Fascinating. Oh, by the way, that's a new weapon you got. Oh, yeah. Right? I was, uh, I remember we asked that. That's pretty cool, What's actually. What's it like? Is it easy to get the hang of? Uh, oh, well, Shao said he had Sig craft this for me. But regular weapons break quickly in my hands, so I couldn't tell you how similar or different this one is. Uh, oh, that's right, she's got the extra photon. Mm, intriguing! Oh. Huh. By the way, Miss Predecessor, how'd you get to be my predecessor? Did someone pick you? I'm actually genuinely curious how the succession well, works. Apparently, Shion chose me to fill an empty seat on the Council of Six. Probably to help against Code Abyss, I think. So, probably not too different from you. It sounds like we both suddenly found ourselves being Clarice Craze. Whoa! So I'm just like you? <laughs> I don't mind hearing that one bit! Why you have to be mad? What's the deal? Being creepy. It's you. Ugh. Just look at how clingy Clarice Grays is getting. Before she was so excited. Somebody's to jealous. The questions, but when she actually got back, Clarice Grays froze up and couldn't get a word out. 
Then the moment we broke the ice with those flowers, she started closing in. Just look at her. She's gone from one extreme to the other. Yeah, and? With Matoy being who she is, she gives a proper answer every time. And that just eggs Clara's Grays on even more. Yeah, and? Ugh, she's clinging like a suckerfish on the side of a fish tank. What? Obviously not! Are you stupid? I'm not the least bit jealous, and I don't want to be in on that anyway. Or do you? She's been going on and on about how much she wants to talk to Matoy, so... Fine! She can talk her head off! Huh? Oh! Hey! Sarah! Damn it! We've been spotted! Why are you lurking over there, Sarah? Come chat with us! You too, bonehead! Oh no, a fate worse than death. You must be curious too, right? Go ahead. My predecessor will answer all your burning questions. A little more Any expedition? response to that? <laughs> sure, I'll answer what I can for you. Okay. I like a good conversation, and I've been wanting to have a nice long talk with you, Sarah. Really? Well, that's cool. Well, first of all, can you explain your tastes in clothes, Matoy? Are you into fashion? What? Oh, yeah. I was wondering that, too. N no, Xiao made these for me. They weren't my idea. Do you get stronger when you show more skin? I mean, there is, there has been a correlation, but it has not technically been causation. God knows she was mostly naked no, when she was... No, that is absolutely... Well... Super... It might have something to do with it. I do absorb photons. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't pull the quiet, breathe through the skin uh -huh. nonsense. So if I lose a few layers, I'll be unstoppable. We literally have like a layer and a half no, tops. No, no. We girls can't just go parading everything in front of everyone. I just parade what you You're want. You're not exactly one to talk. Well, Sarah, you don't have much of a leg to stand on either. Actually, yeah, she is less huh. cut. Well, he's covered Sarah in three of them. Shows a lot more skin than I do. Oh, God, the weird navel looks even worse up close. I, there's not really a I can't. Maggie's trash. Oh, yeah? Wanna try me? So unnecessary. <laughs> I think I could get used to this, actually. Okay, main story. This probably changes to a couple more, but it's got, we gotta be crap with this up. This actually happened before the side story, apparently. Or, like, right before it. That one ripped, wrapped off on May 5th. So, happy May Day. Happy Labor Day. Hey! Great timing. I like that ulk has got an audience with Xiao after, you know, going through all that uh, deal to get an arcs in the first my place. My brain feels totally fried. You really don't have to try and get through this all at once. I have materials prepared for everything, you know? Oh. Yeah, but how am I supposed to stay focused on those walls of text? They're not gonna do it, but I still want to be ready, so let's go! No, really, we're only making matters worse by cramming like this. It's time for a break. What you studying for? There's something I want to talk to you about anyway. Okay. And what might that be? I want to get you up to date on everything. Including everything I just told Ulk. I'm planning to gradually step back from overseeing the everyday operations of ARCs. Oh. I'll still make the calculations and predictions, of course. But I'll be leaving management to Ulk. The oh, six, cool. And all our operatives. She just climbed her way to the top. There's a number of reasons why. For one, I've seen how centralized control works out. Plus, I want ARCs to move forward of its own volition. Well, that's cool. But more than anything else, I want to focus on figuring out how we're going to overcome the profound darkness. That makes sense. To be honest with you, I'm not even sure there is a way to start. But we can't just sit on our hands. I don't want any more sacrifices made. I appreciate your concern. Argue bleeding off to the side. The only thing holding the profound darkness back right now is you. Or rather, Persona. Okay. You push back the profound darkness, chipping away at its power. Persona emerged from its weakened state and used their powers to activate the time stream. 
They keep turning back time for themselves to just before the profound darkness returned. But they can't go back any further. So we gotta find a way to make it go back further? Or maybe go forward further? So they keep doing it over and over, keeping its powers locked away. Okay. But that means Persona has to keep... Exactly. They're sacrificing themselves for the benefit of us all. The thing is, we can't be sure how long this cycle will last. Yeah, we kind of went over that when we first That's exactly or last why beat I it. Focus yeah. on my calculations and find us a way to get everyone out alive. Okay. You have fun with that. Unfortunately, it seems we still have some other disturbances to handle first. Like what? We've got a situation on our hands. What now? Often. Oh, I didn't even see you there, mate. Listen, I'm not sure exactly how to explain this, but... Well, uh, you see, so there's Yuzi, right? Something came from her, or from somewhere. Or was maybe, like, birthed? Oh, no. Yeah, I don't know how to explain it all, okay? Just, can you come with me right now? Please, it'll make more sense if you see it for yourself. I'm begging you, mate. I'm guessing we're about to meet our episode 4 villain? He seemed... Flustered. That's normal. His vitals all check out, so this is clearly nothing life-threatening. But whatever it is, it sure hasn't worked out. That is also normal for him. It seems a new future that no one yet knows is beginning to come to fruition before our very eyes. I have a feeling this may be the final divergence matrix I give you. Thank God, I'm so tired of this. I'm trying to devise another way to visualize the possibilities, but... We'll save that for another time, I oh, guess. Oh, so she was actually giving me the Divergence matrices, matrices, which were the glowy things. Okay. I never quite registered that. Like, for now, what are they doing for me? Just do what you always do. Okay.